Hello folks and welcome, or rather good morning folks. It is uh, quarter past one in the morning and behind me is the new Fiesta ST, Ford Fiesta ST. As you can sort of tell, I am in Dover. Um, we're going on a little bit of a road trip and I'm taking this new hot hatch Fiesta ST. Now, some of you have already seen the world premiere launch press drive of the Fiesta ST and um, I really enjoyed it it's a really cool bit of kit it's a great piece of kit I really liked it I was a little bit worried the fact that you know it was a three cylinder it wasn't gonna be as engaging but you know what overall I came across it as being a much more far grown-up car than the predecessor Mark 7 ST now I've got a five-door Fiesta ST. This one's got the performance pack, so that means it's got launch control, Quaife limited slip diff, um, it's got those rather snazzy optional performance wheels, and it's finished in magnetic grey. Now, we are heading to Germany. In fact, we are heading to the Nordschleife at the Nürburgring. So, I don't have much experience around the Nürburgring. I think this is the perfect car to go around the Nordschleife in, number one. Number two, we're doing a long road trip, so it will be a test of to see how refined the new ST is. And more importantly, at the end of it, the conclusion, is this a better car than the Mark 7 to drive in terms of fun, which we'll find out around the ring, on B roads and on motorways. So. Um, let's crack on. So while we're waiting for the ferry to arrive, I might as well give you a walk around of this Fiesta ST now. Excuse the wing buffeting. To start off with things, it's finished in magnetic grey. And I'll tell you what, it does look rather sleek. Front end of this car, to my eyes, is stunning. It's purposeful. It's just got that nice chiseled front, a bit Aston Martin like, and I'll tell you what, visually it looks great. Obviously, it's got the performance wheels part of the performance pack, 205, 14, 18s. Now the last one had Bridgestone Potenzas. I wasn't really much of a fan of them, and these ones are super cool, so that'll be interesting to see what it's like around the ring. Now this one is the five door model, and at first I was like, eh. Not too sure about the five door, I think I prefer it in the three door. It does look really sleek. The best way I could describe this is it, it looks less Essex. It just, yeah, looks sleek and elegant and rather cool. Where it's a little bit disappointing is at the rear because I just don't think they've tried it hard enough. I mean, it doesn't have a distinctive rear end to warrant it being a Fiesta ST. I mean, at a distance, I've seen a couple of these on the road and I can't tell whether it's a Fiesta ST, an ST line or a Vignale. It's just, they didn't try hard enough. It needs a bit more spoilers, just a bit more aggressiveness. I mean, the front's fine, but here, mm, not too sure about it. I'll tell you what, let me know one of the top right hand corners what you think of the styling of this compared to the Mark 7 Fiesta ST. Moving on, um, let's, in fact, I've got some options list here. Uh, do, do, do. Right, haha. There we go. Um, standard vehicle on road price is 22,645. So, 22 grand for a five door Fiesta ST3. Now, this one's got a couple of options. The magnetic, oh, excuse me, the magnetic gray paint is 495 pounds. Full LED lamps, which is basically, um, you know, it gives you full projectory lamps. It basically dips high beams and does all these cool swivelly bits and pieces, which is, yeah, really neat. That's 600 quid. ST performance pack, which is definitely a must have option. Um, is 850 pounds door edge protectors which is basically door edges got protectors in them protects you from dinging up other people's cars and it's got the B&O sound system it all adds up to 25 25,040 pounds now five grand for a Fiesta ST is quite a bit of money well that's what I thought at first but then you've got inflation and there's Brexit and all of that. So 25 grand for 2018, I suppose 
sounds about right. And then when you think of the Mini Cooper S, which I tested in my previous video, well that car was 29 grand, so this is a whopping four grand less. Let me show you the interior, because inside, they have changed it up a bit. Steering wheel is very familiar. You could tell that's from the Focus ST. <sighs> Inside, the infotainment has been changed. It's got Apple CarPlay. It's running the Sync Free system. The really interesting thing is, it's the new design of the Recaro bucket seats. Now, one thing I will report is seating position is a bit lower, a little bit less in support which is not too bad, but you get a bit more comfort. Now, I drove an hour and a half from home to Dover and no signs of back aches. Whereas in the last car, your bum would ache after 40 minutes of driving it. Right, enough chat already. Let's go for a drive. So the trip from the UK to the Nordschleife is around 400 miles. The five hour journey from Calais to the Ring is long and can be a bit tiresome. The key things that really impressed me with the Fiesta was the ride comfort, mainly from those snazzy Recaro bucket seats which hold you in nicely and keeps you from having a sore bum. The overall refinement is on another level too, with hardly any wind whistle or tyre roar. The new 3-cylinder 1.5 litre engine is another impressive piece of kit, as it can run on two cylinders to improve fuel economy and it shows. The total MPG was over 40 miles to the gallon, which is really impressive, especially especially when taking into consideration that I maxed out the claimed 144 mile an hour top speed on the Autobahn. So we have walked up to the carousel and you can see some of these time attack cars coming in, into the carousel. Some people go around like that dude. You've got to have some balls to do it properly. I mean, he left that one late. But it's just insane. You don't notice it when you're driving it, but the vast size of where the carousel starts, which is there, and then you walk over. <sighs> See, oh, this is some rough terrain. You walk all the way over to this side where it finishes. It's just insane. had a for sale sign on it lol I mean, just look how deep it is it's like a dish Holy. tell you what if you ever come to the Nürburgring right do a bit of hiking a bit of walking and just check out the corners before you go out because you're feeling a bit brave or a bit cocky. You, you really want to check it out. I mean, look at the elevation. It's got to be about 40 feet of elevation coming up from that. So that's like, oh my goodness. Look at Another thing that's really painful is hearing some of these cars whack their front splitter as they fall into the carousel. We're going in the Fiesta ST now.
racing line for doing anything correctly because like I said I'm being a little bit cautious and I don't want to make the phone call to Ford UK saying hi there um, you know the first car you sent me the press card yeah uh... <laughs> don't want one of those now I'm gonna do a review as I'm going around the Nürburgring next time now steering numb not that much feedback or feel but it's proper it's just In Blighty I have to apologize because my camera died in the car and it, the footage got really boring because I was too busy concentrating but as I'm sure you can tell somewhat in the video that um, this is pretty decent around the track but there are a couple of criticisms starting off 
is the brakes. If you're gonna do track days, I do recommend putting some dot five brake fluid in there, or some red lines, or some yellow stuff pads, because the stock brakes aren't really particularly cut out for track usage. Don't know why, just one of those ones. The gearbox is really nice, six-speed manual gearbox, nice, precise, again, pedal setups great for heel and toe all the good ingredient things that i talked about in the previous video when i went out to nice and drove the car those were the key highlights um do i prefer this car on the track on the road preferably i prefer it on the road i think because of the size it's nice and nippy and around the nurburgring there's some brilliant mountain roads and there was a couple of bmw m140i's that i was with and you know what this thing kept up with it in the tight twisty stuff it's just phenomenal such a fun car the engine three cylinders do you know what if you're into your old porsche 911s or your old bmw straight sixes you'll appreciate the noise this car makes it's just phenomenal it does pipe sound into the cabin but it's not fake it's just enhancing the noise main reason is because of how refined this car is on the long journey we've done what a thousand miles almost in this car I'm just amazed by the fuel economy. I mean, you're getting plus 40 MPG the whole way through. And that was me maxing it down the autobahn at over 140 miles an hour. It's just insane. Do I think the styling on this is better than the previous car? Well, from that front angle, yes. From the rear, it's still a bit gutting. In fact, who said it to me? Someone said it to me the other day that this looked like a Mercedes B-Class at the rear end. Yeah, it sort of does. Um, but do like it in this magnetic gray i think the five doors do help it's just another great fast ford they will sell a bucket load of this and it is the best in class anyway i hope you have enjoyed this video if you want to see more vlogs like this then um, please do comment down below there's going to be a lot more content maybe two three videos a week don't know don't know what i'm going to review maybe some golf carts or something like that um make sure you subscribe and See you soon.